Well, new at six, imagine moving into a home and then finding out something hasn't been up to code for 10 years. And then get this, after that, winding up on the hook to fix it. Well, Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin is fighting for you tonight in a story that you asked us to investigate. I see a lot of people out here around my neighbors. We've got two driveways and concrete all in the front, and it's okay. But yet they're going to come and complain about my site? That's not fair. This is Bo Rivera's driveway, and so is this. And they're two of the reasons he bought this house. But in December, North Las Vegas code enforcement came out, and driveway number two had to go. So we called the city, who told us it's his problem and his fine. And now you're going to fine him $130 for a, you know, several thousand dollar problem that you're just expecting like an elderly man to up and fix? Do you think that that's fair? That's something out of my pocket that I can use for something else. You know, I don't need to give the city $130 for what? For something I didn't do? Bull says a code enforcement officer told him he could remove these two slabs and then they would consider the rest of the driveway a patio, but he's unsure what's underneath here and doesn't want to mess up a water or gas line. Ripping out a driveway isn't cheap, and Bo says he's not seeing any of his other neighbors with two driveways having to do it. So we asked the city about that too. So it's hard for me to believe that you're not picking and choosing what you're enforcing when he has two driveways, his neighbors have two driveways, but Mr. Rivera is the only one who's driveways are under scrutiny. After several minutes of back and forth on the phone, the city told us it's still willing to work with Bo and that the fine may not be set in stone. We'll keep an eye on it. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. Oh, we sure will. And we looked into this story after a viewer emailed us. If you have a story that you would like us to investigate, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and be sure to include your telephone number.